Welcome back to County Board Wrap Up. I'm your host, Kara O'Donnell, and our guest today, County Board Chair Katie Crystal and Board Vice Chair Christian Dor Dorsey. Thank you both very much for Thanks joining us. Now, each year, the county puts together a legislative package that it tries to get adopted in Richmond during the General Assembly's legislative session, which is rapidly approaching. Um, what are we looking at this year? It's going to be an interesting one. It's an election year and it's also the short session, which means, if you can believe it, they are only in session for about a month and a half. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, possibly this is not the year to advance large, <laughs> earth shattering priorities, although we did have that kind of year just in 2018 between yeah. Metro funding and mm -hmm. Medicaid expansion. Um, so, we, as always, prepare a list of priorities, things that are uh, important to Arlington's interests, important to our residents. Um, it's a way of giving um, guidance to uh, our legislative liaison. Who was down in Richmond basically full-time and a way of reminding ourselves as we all take time in Richmond to lobby and meet with uh, members of the General Assembly about the community priorities we most wish to elevate. What are those priorities this year? So a couple of our biggest ones, and this is related to what Christian yeah. was just sharing about the budget, really relate to budgetary issues. The General yeah. Assembly yeah. has taken a lot of actions recently that have big consequences right. for localities, and most <laughs> of them are not funded. Um, or, for example, in the case of Metro funding, um, the state has tried to solve financial needs by passing the passing buck on onto that. the localities. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so between that and the, the persistent, what I think would be fair to characterize as a dramatic underfunding of public schools in the mm -hmm. Commonwealth, mm -hmm paired with, um, as Christian was mentioning, some of the unfunded implications of Medicaid expansion, really our top line priority is a reminder to the state, which by the way is experiencing a budget surplus, that this might be a really nice time to revisit some of those many obligations financial obligations they've passed on to localities and look for how the state can be taking on a slightly bigger role of its own funding responsibility to those core services. How optimistic are you that something like that could happen? Hope springs eternal, Kara. That's right. <laughs> Certainly more optimistic than I would have been two years ago. Okay. Um, you know, I think there's, fortunately, uh, the issues that we, we have in our legislative package are not Arlington specific per se. Mm -hmm. You know, these budget issues are, are shared by many jurisdictions throughout the state. So it's a matter of equity. It's a matter That's of a fairness. Mm -hmm. And so when those affect a broad swath of the Commonwealth, I tend to have a higher degree of confidence that okay. We'll, we'll see some movement. That doesn't mean I'm confident. It just means it grows from zero to some. <laughs> okay, okay. One of the other areas, actually, speaking of, um, of statewide coalitions, that I think we're, we're genuinely glad to see in our legislative mm -hmm. package this year, and as a result of a lot of advocacy from the League of Women Voters, yeah, the Civic yeah. Federation, and others, um, is uh, advocating for Virginia to be the 38th state to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment. Which yeah. um, I know a number of people think, wasn't that ratified already? Or like, didn't we fight that fight in the <laughs> 1970s? The Equal Rights Amendment has never been ratified. And uniquely, Virginia could be in the position to be the final state necessary for its ratification nationally, which we think would be yeah. befitting Virginia's that would be history. Exciting. Yeah. So we're actually, it's, it's nice to see it in our legislative package reflecting the desires of our citizens. But um, we would also join a number of localities around the state, including um, some that you might be surprised mm -hmm. by in Southwest mm -hmm. Virginia and others, mm -hmm. um, who've all thrown their hats in the ring and said, this is the year to yeah. pass the ERA. So we'll be tracking that issue closely. All right. Well, let's see how that goes, as well as some of the many other issues that the General Assembly will take on. Uh, that's going to bring us to the end of County Board Wrap-Up. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you, Katie and Christian, for offering your insights into the board and its processes. Remember, all of our County Board meetings are open to the public and live streamed and archived on our website. That's arlingtonva.us. Just search County Board. And if you want to tell us what you think about these and other issues, visit our website, topics.arlingtonva.us engage. I'm Kara O'Donnell, and we'll see you next month right here on County Board Wrap-Up. <laughs>